each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. The Southern Illinois Airport MDH Mike Delta Hotel is a medium-sized, primarily general aviation facility located approximately three miles east of Murfreesboro and three miles northwest of Carbondale in the state of Illinois. It is home to the Southern Illinois University's flight training program, which provides the bulk of the airport's traffic at any given time. There is also a robust medevac helicopter operation located on the field. The runway configuration consists of a set of parallel runways with staggered thresholds, runways 1-8 left and right, and 3-6 left and right, as well as an intersecting runway that crosses both of the parallels runway 6 to 4. Full-length parallel taxiways can be found next to each runway. All services, businesses, and facilities can be found south of runway 6 to 4 and between the parallel runways. As with any airport with a similar runway configuration, Parallel runways with staggered thresholds present a wrong surface landing risk. This is compounded with the addition of full-length parallel taxiways on all runways at the airport. Pilots inbound to MDH for the first time need to be aware of this and ensure they are utilizing the correct surface as cleared by air traffic control. First-time visitors to the airport also need to be aware of intense student pilot activities during most daylight hours. There are special night flights on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings as well. The university also sponsors a flight team that practices at the airport normally on the west side. There are two hotspots on the airport located at the intersections of runway 624 and taxiways Alpha and Charlie. The hotspots both highlight the same issue but at different locations. Aircraft cleared to taxi to either of the 18s via Bravo and the corresponding parallel taxiway and told to hold short of runway 624 have missed the hold short markings on the taxiways and the corresponding above ground signage. This results in the aircraft crossing runway 624, which may or may not be active. To avoid this situation, first remember that you must have an ATC clearance to cross any runway, active or not. Second, actively scanning around the aircraft during taxi, avoiding heads down time in the cockpit will help you avoid this mistake. Third, complete understanding of your taxi clearance, including route, turns, and hold short instructions before you taxi will also help mitigate this issue. Not listed as a hotspot, but somewhat related, is the situation in which aircraft are cleared, runway 6, taxi via Bravo, hold short runway 18 right, 36 left. Too many pilots have become confused as to where they should hold short when given this specific clearance. Even though they are taxiing to runway 6, the instruction is to hold short of runway 18 right, 36 left, and that hold short line is located a considerable distance from the approach end of runway 6 on taxiway Bravo. Again, a clear understanding of your taxi route and hold short instructions before you taxi will go a long way in avoiding this situation. As always, if you are ever in doubt about any clearance, instruction, or even your own position on the airport, Ask the tower. They are there to help. Controllers would much rather spend a few extra seconds clarifying instructions than filling out paperwork. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at MDH will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the ATC tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Southern Illinois Airport. It's always better to know before you go.